Hello folks, this is Mighty Scout here with another episode of Arcanum. And we are on our way to Sen Ang, but first we must stop at the Kintara village. So we can talk to this guy here and go up to the turn in these quests that we have. Greetings. Hello, Whisper. I've gathered some Wisp Essence. Here you go. There we go. She gave us a scroll, and it's a sucker beast. Okay, nice. Let's go talk to the guy with the mithril. Who needs the mithril? Greetings, Elium. Uh, I have obtained some mithril. Let's trade for the bow. There we go. Good day. Now we got a bow. Ilium's bow. Uh, it's actually a pretty good bow. Alright, so those are the quests that we have uh, to turn in. We are done with those. Um, we just have to come here again at some point and talk to Raven. Which we'll do later, once we get past Mingarod. So we can move on to Mingarod now. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Senang. Before you go to Sen Ang, you make sure you have a Malokian hand amulet on you so that you can get in. Okay, I forgot that you can't teleport into Sen Ang because of the magic there. So we have to go somewhere close like the Poacher's Camp and then we can just walk there. All right, here we are at Sen Ang. So you want to make sure you have your Malokian hand amulet on you, uh, which I do. We can talk to uh, the guards here and they'll let us in. They should at least. Here's the Mingarad. You wear the procedure. Where is your amulet? Here it is. You may enter. Thank you. Okay, there's not much you could do here, so let's just go straight to uh, Mingarad and talk to him. There is uh, somebody you can, you can pick up a uh, companion if you're evil. Alright, so here is uh, Mingarad. When my guards informed me a foot soldier of the Malokian Hand was here to see me, I couldn't guess what you could possibly have to speak with me about. Uh, I've come to report on the search for the Blimcrash survivor. Judging from the Hand's famed reputation, I assume you were here to tell me that the survivor has been located and eliminated. That is correct. I completed the assignment myself. You were not a very convincing liar. <laughs> okay. What made you think you could deceive me on this matter? Are you here to test our intelligence, or do you just wish to die? I'm here to make sure we're not dealing with fools. I hope I have calmed your silly little doubts. Now, run along before I give you a graphic presentation of how an assassin is supposed to do their job. If you are persuasive enough, you can talk to her about... Get her to... Give you money. Um, I'm not persuasive enough to do that. So you want to ask her about information she's been keeping from us? Your attitude troubles me. We have shared our information openly with the Malokian Hand, and then you come here, accusing us of dealing deceptively with you. Uh, is it my presence that troubles you? I see the lust in your eyes. You had best leave my presence before I gouge your eyes out, you shiftless scum. Can I deny, deny your true feelings? Your death will be slow and painful for mocking me. Okay, so we just need to uh, kill her and then there's a note on her body. We can uh, find the information we need, which is about the dwarves. So let's take care of these. This guy, I guess. One guy, right? Oh, this guy here too. Let's get our stuff on us.
Is he down? Okay, he's still alive. Okay. Alright, so we did kill her. She has a note on her. And nothing else, nothing worthwhile. Stenners escaped from the void using the unfinished gate, pushed our timetable back a fair amount. The dwarves are now being worked twice as hard to facilitate the imminent return of Aranax. Please report on your progress in regards to the Vandegrath matter. We must destroy the device in order to ensure the success of our plan. Khan Hun. Okay. Alright, so that's pretty much it for uh, Mingarad, really. Um, we can... Oh, this is uh, the Molokian hand guy. Let's talk to him. We probably want to kill him, actually. I know who you are. I'm sorry? What are you talking about? You wear the amulet of the Molokian hand. You show no respect to your master. Yes, of course. Uh, I have no masters. You obviously know nothing in my hand. Ha ha ha. A valiant attempt, my friend. I'd have done the same thing myself had I been in your position. And now I'd know that the ruse hasn't worked. Did you really think the hand wouldn't recognize its prey? We've been looking for you for a long time, stranger. So you do know who I am. Who are you? I am Gideon Lair, the first blade of the Molokan hand. I sought you for a long time. And here you are having walked into my very arms. Interesting indeed. Yes, I'm curious why do the Molokian hand want to kill me? Why else? We are assassins, my friend. We have been contracted to kill you. Is there anything else you need to be, that needs to be said? Yes, I'll be saying your last rites in the moment. Okay, we're going to get these guards involved, I'm sure. Oh, man, he's got a lot of attacks. Nobody helped him. Yeah, look at his stuff he has. He has a speed dagger, a force shield, and some thieves leather, and some boots. Okay, there's one thing we can do. Um, there is some ogres that we can help get free. This guy's right here. Yes, can stop magic, must kill. Okay. If we kill this guy, Okay, so we kill this guy. Um, these guys will go free and kind of terrorize this place. Alright, let's just kill him. Okay, that's the guy. Alright, so we freed the the uh that's a weird bug. We freed the ogres. I've killed your master. There you go. They're gonna fight their way out of here. Alright, uh, we're done here. Let's just teleport out. Oh, we can't. That's right, we have to get, go through the door. 
This guy is so slow. Alright, so one thing you do want to do before you leave uh, here, you want to uh, What is it that you want of me? Trade stuff with Virgil because he's gonna leave your party. So you wanna get as much stuff as you can off of him. I don't really care about anything that he has on him. Maybe uh, this necklace and these rings. Yeah, everything else is not that big of a deal. Uh, what is it that you I'm want? not sure if you get the stuff back that he has on him or not. So grab anything of value, and then once you go through the door, he will leave. Excuse me, I I have something I need to talk with you about. Yes, Virgil, what is it? I have to leave. There's something I need to do. Something I should have done a long time ago. What are you talking about, Virgil? Listen, I... I'm sorry things have to be this way. I stayed with you as long as I could. I tried to forget. But it burns within me. Won't leave me alone. I, I have to go to Caledon. If I can, I'll return to you. If not, well, well, I wish you the best of luck. Uh, fine, you must make your own decisions. Yes. Goodbye, then. I must be going. Forgive me, but I must go. Alright, so we'll have to go to Kadon uh, a little later and get him. So I'm gonna empty my inventory and then we'll head on over there and do that. Alright, so we are back in Kentara and since we uh, finished the St. Ang part, we need to go and talk with uh, Raven and probably the Silver Lady, which will lead to some dialogue. Hello again. It's so very good to see you. Do you have a moment to speak? Certainly. How can I help you? I bring information about the village of the Dark Elves. I'm so glad you returned safely. So very relieved. Are you hurt? Perhaps you need some healing. Uh, no, I'm fine. But it is good to see you. Very well. Perhaps another time. What news do you bring of Mintgarad? Did you find him? Uh, I bring news of the Dark Elves. Did you find the village of the Dark Elves? Tell me what happened. I traveled to Tarant and... That's quite an adventure. But it seems you found what you were looking for. And this Min Gorad, did you find him? Did he tell you what happened to the Black Mountain Clan? Yes, she was in the village and I spoke with her. She? And what did she have to say? You were there long enough. Obviously you two had much to discuss. Uh, I wouldn't think so. She said very little before I killed her. Killed her? Was that really necessary? I mean, the Elven ways say... I'm sure she deserved it. What did she tell you? I obtained this note. What does it say? It tells the BMC and a man named Aranax. So, the Black Mountain Clan was banished in order to help Aranax weaken the wards. He's really coming back. We elves are a magical race and wise to the ways of ruin and prophecy. But I never really thought... Regardless, we must act. You must speak to my mother. She may be able to see what is to be done. I will. I will return once I have. Hello again, traveler. Hello, silver lady. I've come with one more question to ask you. Yes, I knew you'd return to me. And it seems that you still walk the shore. This gladdens me. Why? It means that you've chosen the right path, Traveler. At least, right in the way that you see things. I am happy for you. May I ask you something? Of course. What is the question? What am I to do next? Please try to be clear. Silver Lady? Ahem. Your answer lies... With Nazaruddin. What? How is that possible? <laughs> you have your answer, Traveler. We won't be speaking again.
Wait, who? Okay. Hello again. It's so very good to see you. Hello, Raven. Do you have a moment? Certainly. How can I help you? I've spoken with your mother about Aranax. You did? And what did she tell you? She told me your answer lies with Nazruddin. That's very, very odd. Why? Because Nazruddin has been dead for more than 2,000 years. That seems to make things a little difficult. Yes, it would seem so. Nazruddin and the Council, they banished Aranax. Yes, I know. At least that's the story. As I've said, I don't know the details. That puts me in a pinch. I'm looking for a dead man. Yes, it is very strange. My recommendation is that we travel to Caledon. There we will find the first temple of the Panari, and perhaps some more answers. I'm sorry, did you say we? Yes, I did. This matter affects all of Arcanum and the elves more directly. Where else would I be than where I am most needed? I wasn't questioning your decision, so you'd like to join me? Of course. I'd love to join you. And you would have me? I'd have another way. Then let's go face whatever is out there together. Yes, let's be off. Alright, so we uh, have Raven now on our part of part of our group. I don't know what level she is. Level oh, 32, so she's a little bit behind us right now. Alright, here we are at the Gilbert Bait Mansion. We actually want to talk to him before we do go to Caledon and find out more about Nazruddin. You have returned! Tell me, what news? The Black Mountain Clan was banished to the void by the Dark Elves. It can't be. What possible purpose could that have served? The Dark Elves had been waiting for an excuse to banish dwarves. But why? And to think my life has been conducted under the shadow of guilt for no reason, save it fit the heinous machinations of the Dark Elves. I must think on this. But here, please take these coins for all your troubles. My sincere thanks. All right, let's go to Caledon. All right, we are in Caledon, and we have to get Virgil. He is in the Sobbing Onion Bar. Uh, I did bump my charisma up to eight, so I can have an extra follower. At this point in time, I really don't need points. Um, I, mean, I could bump up my my fatigue, but it's not really that critical that I that, that do that. And I have uh, fire magic for increased dexterity, so so get Virgil. Oh, there's Virgil. He just died. Let's go in here and uh, take care of these people. Let's just boost up dexterity on both of the people that we have. And on the dog. Where's the dog at? Probably gonna kill. Let's just let's just uh, let's do flash fire. Should be fine. All right, let's flash fire them all. All right, that was pretty easy. So you can go through these chests here, and they have a scroll of resurrection. Nice. And you can use that scroll on Virgil. Here you go. Let's talk to him. Greetings, my friend. It seems, well, it seems we both have come a long way. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me back. Virgil, what happened here? These men. They were the men who killed my brother, Lawrence. I had come here tonight to confront my past once and for all. 
I knew that it would most certainly lead to my own death, but I just couldn't run from it any longer. Can you tell me the story, Virgil? Yes. It no longer holds any power over me. Before I met you, before I met Joaquin, I was very different. I was a criminal, really. An evil man. There's no other way to say it, and I don't mind admitting it to you now. I lived my life like a dead man. Well, at least in the sense that I used to view such things. I cared very little for anything at all. I lived only from moment to moment. No sense of right or wrong. I stole or lied or even killed with no thought for morality or consequence. And the men I associated with were the same way. Such lives feed upon themselves. My family moved to Caledon when I was younger. Lawrence and I were close in our early years, but the life I chose to lead as I grew older was repulsive to him, and we finally had a falling out. At the time, I didn't care. The dead have no family, and remember not their pasts. This place is a place for the walking dead, a place where men gather to feed their darker sides. I knew it well, too well. I spent a lot of time here, time and money. I also gambled with men who make a living doing so, and one night, I lost more money than I had. I was threatened physically when I couldn't pay, but what is pain to dead men? I laughed and bled and spat on them. It was only then that they threatened to kill my brother if I didn't pay. Of course, I thought it was only a threat, and really, in the end, I didn't feel anything about the matter. I'd left all that behind me, or at least that's what I thought. I can't tell you the pain which tore open my very soul when I found Lawrence, bleeding and broken, the life gone out of him. I cursed myself and the gods and everything else I had forsaken, and I ran. I ran so far and so fast that I don't remember anything until I woke up on the doorstep of the Panari Temple, where Joaquin took me in. Yes, and doesn't that seem like so very long ago, Virgil? What? Who are you? I am Elder Joaquim. Joaquim? Yes, it is I. I must apologize. I have been so busy trying to find out who is trying to kill you and why, that I neglected to consider the fact that you might need my help in other matters. But you are alive, and so I rejoice. How did you know where to find us? I would heard that Virgil was back in Caledon, alone. I feared the worst, as I knew a little more about his past than you did. I've been searching for him for the past week, and only now did I find him. You've changed much, young Virgil. Yes, Joaquim, and I have seen much, but I still remember the lessons you taught me. They have brought me through all of this, even through death itself. I knew from the moment I saw you that you were special somehow, that you were meant for more than the life you left behind. And I see that I was right. The living one could not have chosen a better companion. You will be a powerful ally in the battle to come. What have you been doing, Joaquin? Well, since I left Stillwater, I've been trying to find out if the prophecies say any more about what it is you're supposed to be doing. Unless I've missed something, Aronax hasn't yet returned. What have you found out? Ah... That is quite a tale. You've done very well, and I think your journey is approaching the end. I hope so. Are you coming with us, Joaquin? No. I think that you are in capable hands. I am no longer needed here, but I'm sure I can find something to keep me busy. Good luck. May the spirit of Nasruddin be with you and guide your path. Farewell. Well, where to you, Virgil? You were saying? I was just saying that I came here tonight to face my past, and to avenge my brother whom I betrayed. These men were the men who killed him. I knew that I wouldn't survive, but the weight of his death and my cowardice were too much to bear any longer. And here you found me. I'm glad you're back. Will you join us? Yes, of course I will journey with you, as your protector and as your friend. As if I've got a bloody choice. Aren't we all just pawns of prophecy? Hmm. <laughs> and something else. I'm not sure, but I think that something has happened to me as a result of all this. I may be better equipped to face Aranax when the time comes. I'm glad. Virgil, shall we 
Yes. Let us continue on. All what right. is it that you want of me? Looks like he has everything with him still. Nice. We can give uh, her this bow. How may I help you? Illumin's bow. Is it not better than this one? One to ten. Two to five. Yeah, this is not as good as the other one. Speed 25. This has speed 15 on her. Okay. Ring of protection. Good luck. What is it that you want of me? Okay. We can sell this stuff later. Good luck to you, living one. Oh, these guys have stuff on them. Alright, so we'll wrap up this episode right now because the next part's going to have a lot of dialogue and a lot of text and a lot of reading. So we'll do that in the next episode where we get to learn about uh, Nasruddin and the Panari religion. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will see you in the next one. Bye.